Hello everybody, you got your channel son of it. Today I'm playing The Walking Dead, Season 2, Episode 3, Part 5. Apologize for not uploading one of these in a long time. Uh, I am just really lazy when it comes to playing this game. At the time of making this video, Episode 4 is already out. So I'm really far behind. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around. I'm commentating it as I play it. Let's do this. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are, and you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. Do you understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I'm not like you. Yeah, you tell him. I know it when I see it. And we're more alike than you think. In fact, I think you realize it, but you're not comfortable with it yet. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared, but you looked me straight in the eye, kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. Yeah. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Try really knock the shit out of it. Oh, How man. bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Let's do it. Nice talk, nice talk. A lot of stuff accomplished right there. You know, beast mode. Hold on a minute. Alright. We all know what happened this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but... It does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. Sounds like a plan in the brewing here. Who knows when that'll be? 
There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all over the city. We just need something really loud. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a there. lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny, no. Can, that's we could right. try to do both. Exactly a peach Why not? Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. This isn't who signs it anyway. Improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Who are First you? First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. All right, I will agree to help you this Where once. Where did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I'll do it. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Ask my girl. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Muscles over here. Don't let go. I got you. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you're not in your bunk, we're all done. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Oh yeah, on the ladder. We're in trouble. Just a little. All right, sorry about that. Moving on. Look at Burley over here. Can't even see anything. 
two or three thousand of them out there. In the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So you're not sure? Go all the way. How many there are? Yeah. How can I be? It's locked. Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot. It's a nice office. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll go in the greenhouse. Okay, there's no way I could possibly go. Unless there's more this way. Here we go. Alright. Yeah, because this one's, this one's open. Pull some Batman and just like, oh, too late now. It's crazy about Reggie, huh? Yeah. You think Bill? Go on. Alright. Ah, uh, just, I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh. You don't? No. Do you? Gonna need to drop down. So really, no bullshit. You think we're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. There you go. Come on. I'm not sure about the expansion. They're out there just moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know. Savage I mean, mode. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything. A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. I'll give you that one. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? <laughs> Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. See, it's hard not to call the prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Should we just wait yeah. we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. Alright, talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. I'm uh, I forget how to... Do this. There we go. Okay. Oh well. Wow, she got up there really fast, like instant transmission fast. Oh no. This radio's better be off. Alright, that should be enough for now. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Keep pro gaming. Bye.